Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial of Tutorial Tuesday. Today we'll show you how to quickly make realistic fire, smoke and sparks for images or animations. If you don't have the time or power to create real fire or smoke in Blender, images as planes is a good option but it won't work for every scene. I have provided a download link for free to use footage in the description. If you want to get more you can buy some from many different websites such as iStock or simply make your own. Let's get right into it. So first you want to make sure that you have, an, have the images as planes add-on enabled. Simply check that by clicking edit, preferences, add-ons and searching up images. As you can see I have already have this enabled. So now you should just download the footage from the description or use your own. Then click on add image, image as planes. Then click the folder where you have saved your footage. Click and select the one you want to import. Change the material settings from prim principal to image and make sure use alpha is selected. Now import images as planes. Let's delete this queue real quick. This really works well in, in EV. You can also try to use this in cycles, of course. Now we can see it's not transparent that well. So we have to change that by clicking the settings and then change the blend mode from alpha blend to alpha hashed and the shadow mode from opaque to none. Then we can go to the shader editor and we need to change the alpha to color now if we click here we can see it is kind of transparent pretty well but it may be too low so the power of the emission may be too low for you or anything else so you can for example use a color ramp um, plug it in between just like so let's go back over here and then you can move the white more to the black and as we can see it gets way stronger I would not recommend to overdo this because then it won't look realistic anymore something like that that just doesn't look well but maybe something like that that works good and now we can play it and it works nearly flawless for example we can also use fire fire will use some more power but of course less power than if you would try to create realistic fire so let's add a fire footage and you can find that also in the link in the description so let's add this one over here now we need to do the same thing so We'll click on alpha hashed, change the shape shadow mode to none. And now we can change the color over there. You can also, of course, change the color of the fire by using a hue and saturation node, plugging that in between. And now you can change the hue, but we don't really need to do that right now. And we can of course also add a color ramp in between again something like that now it's really 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 strong it will lag some more but in the end if you render it out it will look flawless so right now as we can see it uses way more power um, it right now looks really pixeled but if you stop it's clean and smooth so for example you can use that for chimneys and for just really small animations maybe also just for the background so the problem is it will only work if you look at it from the front as it's 2d and not 3d so if you have a view from some of these angles it won't look realistic so i hope this small and short tutorial helped you and you may use some images as planes in the future. Thanks for watching.